Hey babies, welcome to Donna Spot with me, Donna. Since I have some leisure time, I wanted to do a get ready with me. So I'm going to describe the things that I have here. I have my faithful mirror that I will be looking in as I look up towards the camera so you can see my step by step. And I'm going to introduce my products. They come from different places. This comes from Shop Miss A, and it's called Strawberry Shake. It's my eyeshadow palette. This is AOA Perfect Eye Primer, eyeshadow primer from Shop Miss A. All these things that I'm going to show you right now are from Shop Miss A, and then I'll move along. This is the AOA Banana Powder. This is <clears throat> the AOA Wisp Mascara in Purple. This is an eyeliner. From Shop Miss A. It's a real thick black eyeliner. We have some concealer and toffee. I have some contour in Earth. This is the darkest shade. I have some diamond mascara, but I use this for my eyebrows. It's got a, mm, a holographic look to it. This is a gold sparkle lipstick. It is so pretty. Uh, AOA buffing brush. I use it for my foundation and my blush. Um, and that's it from Shop Miss A. Now I have some L'Oreal Volume Voluptuous Primer Base for mascara. I have. Another brush and a couple of brushes from Lakeside's collections and an AOA studio brush. This is a stamper from Wish. This is a lipstick that I had got many years ago. I love this lipstick. I don't know if it was Family Dollar, Dollar General, Dollar Tree. I don't know. This is BH Cosmetics Studio Pro in number 250. And this is what it looks like. This is Beauty by Earth Anti-Aging Facial Serum. I got this off of Amazon. This is Pond's Rejuvenous Anti-Wrinkle Cream. I got this in a Walmart Beauty Box. I have some Believe Foundation from Dollar General in Hazelnut. And I have Bolero Vanilla Sugar and Raspberry Facial Mist from the Dollar Tree. So what I like to do, my face, I already washed it. 
So what I like to do to start off doing my makeup, I like to roll this serum on my face. I have very dry skin. So I like to put some type of serum on my face to help it out. And I do use some techniques that oily skin people use too. I kind of like took some techniques from here and there from things that I watch other people do. And I do it. And then I put my own spin on it. To get the look I want to get. So that's my serum. And then I take this facial mist from Dollar Tree. And I spray my face with it. just to give my face a little bit more moisture. I also suffer from eczema. This is something that has come on since I didn't got middle aged. <coughs> Don't ask me why when you got a lot of health issues, you deal with a lot of different things. So I'm airing my face down and I'm going to use some of this Pines Anti-Aging Cream just to give my face some more moisture. Because I don't want, I don't want nothing to stir my eczema. And I really don't know what triggers it. So I'd rather just saturate my face with good stuff. To keep it hydrated while I do my makeup. I am only doing makeup today. I'm not doing no wig install or anything like that. And then here we go with my facial mist again. So it's like prepping canvas. I like my face to be highly, highly moisturized before I go in with any type of makeup. So what do I want to start with? I'm going to start with my pencil from Shop Miss A. I'm looking into my mirror that's on the table here in my dining room. As I'm looking at you in the camera. So I don't want you to think I'm ignoring you. But it's easier for me to do it in my mirror opposed to doing it from the camera. So I like to... oh. Uh -uh. Where's my spoolie brush? I like to take my spoolie brush and just brush through my eyebrows. And some of the things that I do, you might not do. And some of the things you do, I might not do. Just to bring it to your attention. Okay, I know this is a thick brush. I mean, a, a thick pencil. And I like to just draw my eyebrows up. My eyebrows are thick already. But And I'm not ignoring you. I have to focus. I'm older. And 
I am used to wearing glasses. So, it's just easier for me to do it this way. And I know you young girls, y'all do things different than me. And I'm all right with that. So basically, I know everybody likes to draw they draw the line up under their eyebrows. I really don't see the purpose of it. Because my eyebrows are so thick. It's okay. Okay. And then I'm going to take my concealer. This concealer is a dollar, but it works for me. And I'm going to draw up under it. on each side. And with my buffing brush, I'ma just buff it. And by the time I finish, you gonna be like, wow, what did she do? Okay. Now, I'm also going to take this concealer and do my lids with it. Because it's crazy. It's it might be. It helps. With my eyeshadow primer. So I'm going to buff that out. All over my leg. Because I have a. Like a mole on my right eyelid so I like to cover that mold I don't know. I haven't figured it out yet why the concealer works so good with the eye primer. But whatever it does, whatever it does, it works for me. So um, I like to take. Where are you? Where are you? my contour and draw it on down 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 side of my nose and put some concealer down the middle of my nose also like to hit up under my eyes where I have the eye bags and I do have different dark spots on my face 
and on the side of my nose because I wear glasses. So. I'll try to get her right on the side of my nose. On both sides. This is a big spot here. Please do not run out now. And you're supposed to use a color that's lighter than you. I don't know what it looked like on camera. I do look much lighter. On camera, it looks much lighter. It's not as light as it. Oh, well, the way my camera is set up. I got it on light. I got it 100%. So it's not that dark on me. And then mm, I like to go here on top of my lip where that little peach fuzz like a mustache coming in at. Let me see. Here's my contour stick. And I'm gonna buff buff that out now I like to I like to take my skinny brush <coughs> excuse me and buff it in on the side of my nose first of all where, it, where the indentation from my glasses is at That's something that really, really, really bothers me. And then I drag the brush up under my eye. I like to play with cheaper cosmetics at first for my everyday look and then if I'm going out somewhere or something I can do some higher end look when I'm going out. I want to get to a point where I start wearing makeup every day. The way I did that, I'm not left-handed. I'm right-handed, so... Uh, uh, 
Still trying to get on the side of my nose. I try to get it where I can't see any indentation from my glasses. Now this is a trick that I'm about to do that I learned from Dennis Gross and that's using this banana powder. He said if you put the, the concealer on first up under your eyes and then come back and put the banana powder under your eyes, even though you might be dry skinned, it helping it helps to brighten your under eye area. So and that's where my eye bag would be at. So whether you have dry skin or oily skin, it's best to put this banana powder up under your eyes. And it works for me, so. That's the good part. It works for me. I don't know if it's more so pressing the concealer in or what it's doing. I haven't figured that one out yet. But it is what it is. So, put the top back on that. All right, so here's my eyeshadow primer, and I put that right on top of my concealer. I don't know if it help. I don't know if the concealer helps the eyeshadow primer where it makes the shadow. adhere to your primer or to your concealer. But it works for me. And that's all that counts. It works for me. Sometimes it's hard to blend with these little wands that come with it. So I'm gonna blend that out with my makeup brush. I use this one. So I'm just like patting it in. Patting both the primer and the um, concealer into my eyes. And yes, that's the brush. One of the brushes I use with this banana powder. Okay, so here's the eyeshadow palette I'm using today. And I'm going to use this 
darkish berryish color and I'm going to use this plumish color and I guess I use that gold so let me see I use the eyeshadow thing from the palette in with the dark color I haven't practiced enough to be highly skilled like y'all and I do not have the patience to be blended. Just don't have it. Maybe I should learn, but to me it doesn't work. Or maybe I just don't have the right concept. And maybe that's why it don't work for me. I'm going to try it, but just blend, 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 blend. It just doesn't do too much for me. 